What's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is just a quick little like intro announcement before I get into the higher quality video. This is my first ever time doing any modifications to my keyboard and these are with the original switches that I got. Hot swappable brown switches, so enjoy. Okay, so I got this from Keeps For All and I got the desk mat and the Crytox lube. Yes. I took everything off my desk and I just put this stuff up here. It's very minimalistic, so it's a nice mat. Okay, it's a nice desk mat. Obviously, none of this is required, but I just wanted that feeling <laughs> or whatever, so. And of course, I've got Brooklyn Nine-Nine on. Come on now. Yeah. And these came with the keyboard. I just put them in this box because this was a box that was convenient. So, and I'm really glad that I got the two-in-one uh, switch opener because it's very useful and I made a lot of use out of it. That sounds, I mean, that sounds fair. So, but yeah, it was really fun to work with these tools and all this, you know, stuff. And I didn't know how much to lube, so I think later I had to watch a video, but I think I did three strokes on each side, and then all around, just like, you know, one, two, three, four, maybe five times. But, yeah, it was pretty good to use overall. Although, like, when I put it in the housing, and I tried to, like, put it back in, it was a little bit more difficult, but watch this. Boom. Nice. The continuity is nice, I guess. So, yeah, just a little film thing. Huh? And eventually I finished all of it, so that took a while, but I watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine the whole time. It was very therapeutic. I should say that. It was very therapeutic. And this is super lube, but it was freaking blurry. And I put about, t I think I put 10 drops in there, and I didn't have a regular fancy Ziploc bag, so I just had this bag and I just shook it around. So, yes, that's bag lubing, I believe it's what it's called. And then this is how I lube the other parts. Um, I put it in a cup and I grabbed a good amount of lube and then I just put it like, I just like put it on the side, you'll see there, boom. And then I grabbed some um, plastic wrap and then I shook it up. So I just made sure like there was a good amount of lube on all of them, but yeah, I didn't overdo it. I think it was easier than hand lubing all that. So the housing of it was fine to lube. Yeah, the top and bottom housing I lubed by hand and then the springs and the... So here's me making up for this time where I just kind of sat there blankingly thinking about what this little brown part of the switch was called and I finally figure it out now. If you are liking this video so far, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, comment down below if you'd like to see any more of these types of videos, and ring that notification bell. Then the stem I lubed by shaking it in a bag, in, in, a, in a cup, I guess. Is that cup lubing? That sounds weird. Watch this. Oh my gosh. So cinematic. Oh my gosh. You see how I did that? Mm. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed it, so. I mean, what can I say? I filmed and edited this myself, so, you know. And I used the magnet on the switch opener to like make it straight before I use my tweezers to put it on to the bottom of it, so it was really good. So cinematic for no reason, but you can hear like my mom in the background just like in the kitchen. So, yes, I finished all of Brooklyn Nine Nine in that sitting. So that was really fun, and all of my yellow switches just came with the keycap. It came out with the keycap, so that was really annoying. Except for one that stayed. So that trans. These are the cringy transitions, but you know I had fun <laughs> trying to match it up. Nice. Oh my gosh, these are so bad. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I had fun. And this is just the home run. Ready? 
Wait. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay. Test time. So as you can tell, I did not over mod my keyboard because it's my very first one and I didn't want to like go too all out. Although I already went all out with like getting new switches and I got a desk mat and a freaking two in one switch opener, but I didn't like use any foam. I didn't solder anything. I didn't have to solder anything, which is good. And you know, I didn't do anything too extra fancy, but like this was a very fun experience. I already lubed my stabs. Like they, they already came factory lubed and I had to just kind of even it out. I didn't film that because I was like, well, it's just like a little bit of thing, but I, I probably could have filmed that, but so I might like, you know, mod with more advanced techniques in the future. But right now this is just a pretty like beginners type of thing. And I thought it was pretty good that I did this just for fun. And I was like, yeah, I, you know, I learned about like different, you know, switches and how lubing your switches is good and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. I don't care. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.